nature book garden. My first book of planets, all about the solar system for kids by Bruce Betts. The solar system. You live on a planet named Earth. Earth goes around the sun and the path it takes is called an orbit. Earth is part of the solar system. The solar system has the sun in the middle and lots of big things that go around the sun. Planets are big, ball-shaped objects that move around the sun. Our solar system has eight planets. The four planets closest to the sun have rocks and ground you could stand on. Those planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The four planets farthest from the sun are much bigger and called giant planets. They are mostly made of gas, like what fills a balloon, so you couldn't stand on them. Those planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The Sun. The Sun is a star. A star is a huge ball of hot glowing gas. There are many stars. You can see some in the night sky. Stars are much hotter than fire. The Sun is our star and it is very special. It is the only star close enough to keep us warm and give us lots of light. A day is the time it takes a planet to spin all the way around once. A year is the time it takes a planet to go all the way around the sun. The sun is gigantic. One million Earths could fit inside the sun. The size of Earth compared to the sun is like the size of a mouse compared to an elephant. The distance from the Earth to the sun is about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles. That's really far. In this book, we will say how far other planets are from the sun by using the distance between Earth and the sun. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and the smallest. It is a rocky planet and mostly gray in color. Mercury has almost no atmosphere, the gas that can surround a planet. An atmosphere lets people, animals, and plants breathe. But there is nothing to breathe on Mercury. In the daytime, the ground on Mercury is hotter than an oven. At nighttime, it is much colder than a freezer. Sometimes you can see Mercury in our night sky. It looks like a bright star. How big? Almost 18 Mercuries could fit inside Earth. How far from the Sun? A little less than half the Earth to the Sun distance. How many moons? Zero. Mercury is covered with impact craters that look like bowls. When a rock flies through space really fast and hits the ground, it makes a crater. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is a little smaller than Earth. It has a solid rocky surface or ground. Venus spins the opposite way compared to Earth. Venus has an atmosphere that keeps it warm like a blanket. The ground is very hot. It stays hot all day and night. Venus has lots of clouds. If you stood on Venus, you would not be able to see the sun because of the clouds. 
Sometimes you can see Venus in our night sky. It looks like the brightest star in the sky. How big? A little smaller than Earth. How far from the sun? A little more than half the Earth to sun distance. How many moons? Zero. The bubbles in soda are the same gas that makes up a lot of the atmosphere on Venus. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is our planet and our home. We live on the biggest of the four rocky planets. For Earth, one orbit around the sun takes one year. How old are you? That's how many times you have traveled around the sun. Earth is mostly covered with oceans. From space, Earth looks very blue because of the oceans and white because of clouds. Earth is special. It is the only place we know of that has life. Life on Earth includes plants and animals. Life on Earth includes you. You need to drink water. All living things need water. Earth is the only place in the solar system with water ready for you to drink. That makes Earth perfect for life. How big? About 8,000 miles across. How far from the sun? 93 million miles. How many moons? One. The moon. The moon is an object in space that goes around a bigger object, like a planet. Some planets have many moons, and some have none. Earth has one moon, and we call it the moon. The moon travels around Earth. It also travels with us around the sun. You can see the moon at night. Sometimes you can see it in the daytime. From Earth, we always see the same side of the moon. Sometimes we see all of it lit up by sunlight. That is called a full moon. Other times we see part of the moon lit up and part of it dark. The lit part is in daytime on the moon and the dark part is in nighttime on the moon. If you think of the moon as a tennis ball, then Earth would be a little bigger than a basketball. People have walked on only two places in our solar system, Earth and the moon. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It is called the red planet. Red rocks and dust cover its surface. A long time ago, there were seas and flowing water on Mars. Now it has some ice, solid water, but no liquid water you could drink at its surface. Mars is much colder than Earth. Earth has icy polar caps. Mars does too. Polar caps are big areas of ice on the top or bottom of a planet. They look like big white spots. Mars looks like a desert does on Earth. It has mountains, canyons, sand dunes, and plains. How big? Almost seven Mars could fit inside Earth. How far from the sun? About one and a half Earth to sun distances. How many moons? Two. Lots of robot spacecraft are studying Mars. Spacecraft are vehicles that can travel outside of Earth. Some are in orbit around Mars. Others look like weird small cars and drive on the surface. The asteroid belt. An asteroid is a small object in space made of rock or metal. Well, it is small compared to a planet. It is big compared to you or me. The asteroid belt has millions of asteroids orbiting the sun. That's a lot of asteroids. Even so, the asteroid belt is so big that most of it is empty space.
The asteroid belt is between the four rocky solid planets closer to the Sun and the four giant gassy planets further from the Sun. Most asteroids are in the asteroid belt, but some asteroids move closer to the Sun. Ceres might have old water volcanoes and liquid water deep under the surface. Ceres. Ceres is the biggest asteroid in the asteroid belt, but it's much smaller than the moon or the planets. 2,500 Ceres can fit inside the Earth. Ceres is also a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is like a small planet. Planets can't have other small-sized objects near their orbits, but dwarf planets can. Ceres has other asteroids in its orbit. We'll talk about other dwarf planets later in this book. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. It is the biggest planet in our solar system. All the other planets could fit inside it. Jupiter is one of the four giant planets. It is made mostly of gas. Jupiter looks colorful and striped. Those stripes are actually clouds and huge storms. The great red spot is the biggest storm. It is like a giant hurricane that has lasted for hundreds of years. Jupiter has four big moons and lots of small moons. Jupiter's moon Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than Mercury. Jupiter and its moons are very cold. As we go further from the sun, it gets even colder. How big? Huge! More than 1,300 Earths could fit inside Jupiter. How far from the sun? About five Earth to sun distances. How many moons? 79 discovered so far. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It is mostly made of gas. Saturn has beautiful rings around it. What are the rings made of? Dirty snowballs. Some are as small as a snowflake. Some are bigger than a school bus. Saturn's moon Titan is the second largest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than the planet Mercury. In the night sky, Saturn looks like a bright yellow star. How big? 764 Earths could fit inside Saturn. How far from the sun? About 10 Earth to sun distances. How many moons? 82 discovered so far. You can't drive a car around Saturn's rings, but what if you could? It would take you about a year to drive all the way around. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is a giant planet with lots of gas. You could not stand on Uranus. Uranus is blue. It is tilted on its side compared to the other planets. Uranus has a set of 13 mostly dark rings. They are hard to see unlike Saturn's rings. Each season on Uranus lasts 21 Earth years. Can you imagine 21 years of winter? If you are somewhere very, very dark, you might be able to see Uranus in the night sky with just your eyes. Usually, you need to use a telescope to see it. A telescope is a tool that helps you see things that are far away. How big? 63 Earths could fit inside Uranus. How far from the sun? About 19 Earth to sun distances. How many moons? 27 discovered so far. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. It is a giant planet with lots of gas. Neptune is like Uranus in many ways. Neptune is just a little smaller than Uranus. Neptune and Uranus are also both giant planets that are blue. Neptune has a few rings, 
but they are very hard to see. Neptune is a windy planet. It has the fastest winds on any planet in the solar system. Neptune has 14 moons, but they are all small except for Triton. Triton is covered in strange ices. To see Neptune, you have to use a telescope. Neptune is too far to see with just your eyes. How big? 58 Earths could fit inside Neptune. How far from the sun? About 30 Earth to sun distances. How many moons? 14 discovered so far. Beyond Neptune. There are objects beyond Neptune that also go around the sun. Four of them are dwarf planets. They are named Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. There are also many things smaller than dwarf planets beyond Neptune. They are hard to find because they are so far away. But astronomers are looking and finding more things. Astronomers are people who study everything outside of Earth, like planets and stars. Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet that is usually further from the sun than Neptune. It is reddish. It is also very cold and covered in ice. It has a little atmosphere. In other words, it has a little gas surrounding it. Pluto has five moons. Charon is the largest. Charon is about half as wide as Pluto. Pluto is smaller than Earth's moon. Pluto is named after a Roman god. The name was suggested by an 11-year-old girl. Pluto used to be called a planet, but then astronomers found other objects the same size as Pluto, so they made up a new name, Dwarf Planet. Pluto and Eris are the largest known dwarf planets. How big? 154 Plutos could fit inside Earth. How far from the Sun? 39 Earth to Sun distances. How many moons? Five discovered so far. Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. The dwarf planets Haumea, Makemake, and Eris are all far beyond Neptune and even Pluto. They are very far from the sun, so they are extremely cold and covered in ice. They all have moons. Haumea is weird. It spins very fast and is shaped kind of like a football. Makimaki is smaller than Eris and Haumea. It is reddish like Pluto. Eris is just a little smaller than Pluto. But Eris weighs more, so Eris probably has more rock and less ice than Pluto. Scientists expect to discover more dwarf planets by using big telescopes. Planets and You This book is only the beginning. You can learn much more about planets and other exciting things in space. What would you like to learn more about? Scientists also have a lot more to learn. Using spacecrafts and big telescopes, scientists are studying the planets and learning more every day. Would you like to study the planets when you grow up? Keep learning and having fun with planets. The end. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing books.